the exact total of everything. I'm gonna add all that up and I'll put the number in his out of his out of mod. What up everybody? Hope you're having a great morning, evening, whatever the hell it is. We're at Famoso Raceway right now. And we are about to make a video of all the mods while we're waiting to hit the track. So thank you for being here. If you're new, be sure to hit that like, subscribe button. If you've been waiting for this video, I'm sorry it took a little while, but you know, we had to add a few things before we, we set all the mods. You know, you can't count your chickens before the eggs hatch. So without further ado, let's get right into it, boys and girls. It makes sense to me to start from the front, and work our way to the back. So it is a 2019 Audi S3 8V. It is the seven speed facelift. The first mod that I liked, well, like that I got was gonna be this grill. And that ran me about, I'll put a picture, but it ran me, I think it was like 200, 250 bucks. It wasn't too bad. Um, the Maxon design front lip. I'll put the exact price up. Uh, I think it was like 100, 150 maybe, maybe 200 bucks. The shipping was the most expensive part about the whole kit. Um, working our way forward, we have Koenig Hypergrams. These are the lightest 17 I could find that would fit. Um, I really like them. I had Rotiform WGRs before this. Um, they were cool. They weren't really anything for performance. They were just, they looked nice and they were big. Um, wrapped on those is, as you guys know, or maybe you don't if you're new, this, these are Hoosier DR2s, 245 45s. And I do have an 034 spacer. It's like a 15 mil, not anything crazy, just to clear the brake caliper, because that is tight fitment right there, boys. Um, behind the wheel and tire, I have R1 Concept rotors. I think those ran me, they're pretty fair, fairly priced. They're like 150, maybe like, they're like 400 for the entire set of, for the whole car. So do whatever, what you want with that information. Um, behind that is Bill Stein B16 IRC coilovers. And that is around the whole car. Those have the Magna Ride still enabled um, with the click of a button. I'll show you guys that when we get in the interior. Um, I did have the the side skirts with the Maxine kit. I took those off just for service purposes. It was kind of a pain to always have to hike my car on a block and then jack it up. Uh, moving along, moving along to the rear. So the Maxine diffuser, we are running stock exhaust still, rip. The Maxine rear valence fins here and then the only other thing i did to the rear was obviously the black badge with the black s3 badge and i added this cute little 85 for the ear all the badges and stuff was like 30 40 bucks um wasn't much and uh we'll go back to the front we'll pop the hood actually i forgot something the first mod i ever did to this car these weather tech Oh, what are these called? These wind, these these visors. I don't know what you want to call these. I got these though. They're nice. They're the first mod I ever did. Um, the first mod along with, I had low range springs, H&R, but we're not going to talk about the past here. Hey, pop the hood. Pop the hood? Pop the hood. Popping the hood. We have right on top, The R8 coil packs. For fueling, we're running Precision Raceworks. It's the MPI kit, as you can see. It's the 925cc injectors on there. For turbo, we do have an upgraded TTE 535. Connected to that is a Miltech downpipe it is catted it is not the catless um california life um as you can see here what else can we see there's apr charge pipes um all the way around i do have a if you're going to be able to even see it no not really but right in front of the radiator that is a mishimoto intercooler and what else we got here 
inside here i'll put a picture of it i'm not going to show you it's a 034 drop-in um, high flow air filter nothing crazy um, attached with a cts turbo intake pipe and attached to that is an 034 turbo inlet pipe anything else we miss uh i do have brisk er12s in there but we're not going to show you the plugs that's just standard stuff that's about it for under the hood as far as i'm concerned inside only real modification is going to be my nrg prisma ultra and it does have the fancy back and no i'm not going to take off that wrap yet um i'm just going to leave it see how far we can go it's kind of like the mopar guys they leave that little banana peel in the front just gonna leave that wrap on the back um let me see by oh we forgot something boys and girls let me get let me let me let me hop inside the steed here walk all the way around the long way oliver's here taking everything out of his vehicle because he's about to run nines today chasing records man that's what yes, you gotta sir. do all right if we don't trade paint here we should be good we're all right and then get you guys in on some knobby boys here this is probably the best mod if you saw my previous video on the channel if you didn't go ahead and watch it best mod so far that i put money into was the cyvex controller bill stein that's the button i was talking about if you push the button you hit this once it lights up that's sport you hit it again that's super sport you turn it off comfort this knob right more more rear bias power left less rear bias power in the middle stock um and i mean i have five percent tin all around is that a, is that a mod i don't know it looks cool looks nice the carbon on the mirrors and the carbon on the trunk that's all factory um that's factory spec same thing with the insides I got lucky with a really good spec. Um, obviously, that's factory. As far as that goes, boys and girls, I believe that is all the mods. The most expensive of the mods being the TTE. Um, that was about 3,600 bucks. I would say what you needed to go along with the TT that I didn't mention was a low pressure fuel pump. I have a RS3 drop-in brushless fuel pump. Um, you can't see it, no point in, I mean, I'll show you the module. You guys wanna see the module? I mean, it's different than stock, nothing special. There it is. That's hooked up to my brushless drop-in pump in there. That is how I'm able to support the full 85 capabilities. I do have stock high pressure. Um, but to help out with that, that's obviously the E85 sensor here. Additional lines to the MPI for precision. And, um, shoosh. I think that's about it, boys and girls. Been waiting for this video. I'm going to put all the prices, pictures, and stuff right next to the, the items that I listed. And... Nope, nope, that's stock too, okay. What are we forgetting here? All right, you guys, remember to stay hydrated. Little quick intermission. <laughs> okay, so quick overrun. It is a full bolt-on S3. We got the E85 fueling. We have the APR charge pipes. We have the Mishimoto intercooler. We have the O34 drop-in filter. We have the CTS turbo intake pipe. We have the O34 turbo inlet pipe. We have the Miltech catted down pipe. We have the MPI 925cc uh, multi-port injection kit. We have the low pressure fuel pump in the back with the, it's not with the, it is the RS3 brushless pump from, uh, that is from, hang on what is that from so that low pressure fuel pump is from innovative motorsports um to pair along with 
the E85 fuel that we're running and the sensor. Um, it is, I did not get into the tuning. Oh my gosh. I am United Motorsports tuned. I have their Haldex flash. I have their DSG tune. I am on their hybrid turbo tune. Um, I am on their ProFlex tune. So whatever you want to do with that information, I am flashed by United from Four Seasons. Um, James over at Four Seasons is a great guy. He's basically helped with almost all the installs. I couldn't be happier with this build, guys. Um, this is a little bit of a shorter video. Um, I'll be sure to throw pictures and stuff to make them, um, to give you guys a visual for shit you can't see. But I want to thank you guys for tuning in for yet another video. If you guys are new here, like I said, be sure to like, subscribe, watch some of the older videos, kind of catch you up if you're interested. Um, I do a lot of S3 content. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna keep it going. We're, uh, we're currently at the track. This is in the middle of a track video I'm, that it will come up after this video. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you. I love you, stay up. Okay, so, and for those of you that wanted to know the exact total of everything, I'm gonna add all that up and I'll put the number here. Oh I don't know my God. how that's gonna look later when I edit this, but painful, but it's worth it, guys. <laughs> I have a lot of fun in this car. I'm going to continue to put money in this car. This, uh, this has been a fun project of mine for the past two years. And uh, I'm going to continue to bring this content to y'all. So thank you for tuning in again. Stay up and uh, I'll catch you in the next video, which will be very soon. Later.